I know we want to keep this on a coaching track, but I've got to ask you, like, I mean, you played in the Western Hockey League. You're drafted at 19, so a little bit later than most players. Um, my understanding is you, you go to your first training camp after you're, after you're drafted. Um, like that dressing room that you walked into in Pittsburgh, how intimidating was that? Like, I'm just, I'm pulling up the roster right now. Like you've got Mira Lemieux, Kevin Stevens, Joe Mullen, Larry Murphy, Mark Recchi, Jeremy Yeager, Paul Coffey, Ron Francis, Rick Tockett, Brian Troche, like, um, unbelievable. Like, did you, did you say like, did you speak at all? Like, when you first oh, oh, no. and you know, unless I was approached, but I was, I remember yeah. being extremely nervous and, you know, I had just watched, we had all watched them just win the cup and, yeah. You know, I loved watching the Islanders. Brian Trotty was somebody that I had, had really followed closely. I loved the Islanders. And then um, Mario was now the premier player in the league. And it was just a who's who. I mean, you look at who's in the Hall of Fame. And so, yeah, I remember going to camp. I think every young player is nervous when you walk into a dressing room. You know, had I walked into, you know, what an expansion team franchise at the time, uh, I would have been nervous. But that was special what they had going on in, in Pittsburgh. So um, it's funny. I just had a conversation with Pierre Maguire on this a couple of weeks ago. And, and he scouted uh, you, right? Like he, he was right. the, the, no kidding. Yeah. So he scouted me. He was the scout for Western Canada. And, and um, so we were talking about this first camp after the first cup. And he, you know, he's like, you were there, Paul. And I said, yeah, we were in Vail. Said him. You know, it's an adjustment. The pace is high. Had we been at sea level, never mind being at 5,000 feet. No kidding. So that first practice, I was like, man, I thought I was in good shape. I always prided myself in the conditioning. I, I tested really well off ice. We get onto the ice, and we hadn't done a drill yet, and I was tired. And I was like, oh, boy, this is going to be a long day. And, uh, you know, you're always you're, you're so nervous that first time you hit the ice. So we do this one, a one-on-one -on -one drill and it's the one-on-one -on -one drill where the D are at the hash mark and the forwards are in the corner. And I look and my very first rep, it's going to be Mario. And I do the old shuffle, you know, my laces are untied. <laughs> and who do I get? I get Yager, which was worse because, you know, he was still young and trying to prove himself and he was going to humiliate anybody that he could because he's still, you know, um, no and that's kidding. the way he played. So I learned that lesson. I'd rather have, you know, Mario try to put it through my feet five or six times instead of flat out just blow by me and make me look like I'm in quicksand. But um, that's it, was, unbelievable. Um, it was just, you know, every time I turn around, there's a superstar um, that, that that's there, right? And one of the exhibition games, I made a mistake on a breakout. We were playing, uh, I think it was the Flames or the Canadian Olympic team. And we were in Denver. And I was just, we were in a controlled breakout situation. Brian Trotti was coming back uh, as the first, you know, he was he was going to swing into the, to the left side. And I left early. I left halfway through his curl and the timing's off. And now I don't have any options. And, and uh, he came, you know, it's the first time he had come to talk to me, but he came to correct me on, but he was so patient with me. It was just, it completely put me at ease just on, on, yeah. on how he communicated with me as a first year guy. You know, Brian was 35 years old. He had five Stanley cups under his belt. It was like, Oh my goodness. Like, I don't know if I heard anything, I, but I just felt just a calmness and a presence that, you know, that, that um, was so grateful for putting me at ease. My first uh, exhibition game. No kidding. So, I mean, you, you, you've got a, you built something pretty special in Steinbeck. How much of those experiences that you had as a player, just that, that mentorship affects how you maybe, maybe not so much how you mentor players today, but just on how you sort of frame up the role of the older players and how they welcome players. And because, I mean, frankly, I mean, you played in a generation where a lot of cases, the, the, the treatment from a veteran to a, a rookie player making a mistake could have been a complete 180 of what you just described. Yeah, one hundred percent. There's no question that I draw from that, and and um, you know, Brian's was probably my first experience, and the, and then, you know, the next year I had an injury, and um, 
it required surgery in Pittsburgh. So I went up to Pittsburgh and the team was on the road and I was given instructions uh, the following morning after surgery to take a, take a cab from my hotel. There'd be a therapist in the room when I got there. Um, he wasn't there, but I looked into the room and Mario was laying on the table and he's dealing with some injuries. And so I walk in and I'll, you know, my blood pressure probably went up and he put me at, you know, ladies and welcome. Hey, Paul, uh, I heard you were coming. And so, um, you know, my experiences cool. with the players in Pittsburgh were, were so positive. And then I got sent to the minors and my partner was Gordy Deneen and I played with Gordy Deneen and Gilbert DeLorme. Um, just two terrific men. Um, so really grateful for the mentorship that, that I received from those guys and, and how patient they were with the mistakes I was probably making on the ice. But, um, um, you know, that, that was, that was fortunate. I, I know that not every player in 1991 uh, as a first year player, either in, you know, in the IHL or the American league or the national hockey league was treated that way by, by veteran players. So, um, but, you know, really spoke to the type of people that they were and, um, you know, it was something that stuck with me as I, you know, progressed in my career as a, as a veteran player in the minors and went over to Europe and, you know, I was always hoping to, um, um, you know, be able to treat our young players and made the decision to obviously do that. But I just, to me, it was their character that, yeah. that really shone through and, and, um, we had others, but those two guys in particular in the back end, you know, if you're a young defenseman playing with a guy who has 500 games in the NHL, I know their expectations were high and I'm thankful for that. And they certainly didn't um, give me a free pass, but, um, you know, played a huge part in my development, both on and off the ice.